to another Iman Hobby Show video and and today in this video I wanna explain to you guys and also I wanna review you guys if you guys uh, saw my Instagram story and uh, I said can you guys guess what is the record I'm getting next and I'm gonna review to you guys right now so here we go this is the new record that I just bought it's an S drop 99 in a navy blue or even the new color what we call it so uh, I why do I go for S-Shock 99 I've been using this racket for a while now uh, as you guys can see I have two of them because this and I just uh, put stencil on the old one uh, to let me know which one is the old one and the new one uh, but as time passes, I'm also gonna put stencil on the new one so let's talk about the new one because it's way nicer and why do I choose with this racket so first of all uh, this racket it's a Kento Momota racket, players from Japan, world number one currently, world ranking, a uh, former world number one currently, and um, he's also using arrow bike, uh, same color strings. Uh, this is the blue and the white arrow bike. Um, the only difference on this racket is the tension with mine and Kento Momota. So Kento Momota are using 32 and 34. LBS and mine are 2930 LBS and I also go for the same grip style as Kento Momota uh, as well as my old one as you guys can see this is a Kento Momota style grip um, it's not 100% like Kento Momota but um, it's 99.9% so um, exactly I, I will go with the same stencil color color if you guys can see Kento Momota post right here uh, you guys can see the string is actually red white but if you go if you go to his YouTube channel he's recently just changed his arrow bike to blue and white um, string color arrow bike so if you guys a little bit of sound this is my old arrow bike I just restring this as well and this is the sound of the new s 99 it's the same tension, it's the same racket, it's the same weight, everything is the same. Uh, and I also choose this racket um, it's because I get to Momota, first of all, he's left-hander. Uh, and I'm also left-hander, so uh, the first time I tried this racket, wasn't great. But as, um, as I've been using it for weeks, it's getting more comfortable. Um, but there is a pro, there's a pro and cons uh, on using this um, S Shock 99 and also with the Arrow Bike combo. So um, I like using Arrow Bike. Um, I, I used to use VG66, uh, but that just, it just doesn't fit my playing style. So I like I want to really play like Kento Momota as well, which is a precision and also play control. So uh, the good thing about Arrow Bike, in my opinion, uh, it's and with a high tension as well. Uh, it's uh, very easy to make net shot uh, and a net cord and a cross net that kind of things and um, drop shot such things are pretty easy using this arrow bike because they are made for playing control and um, yeah it, and if you guys see my Instagram why does my string keep breaking uh, you guys can see it's kind of you see this so uh, basically when I hit the ground the string will get actually scraped off and eventually it will snap so uh, that happened a lot so and th that is another reason why do i bought two first of all not only i like the racket i also like uh, not only i like the racket it's also comfortable at the same time and also if i break one string i don't have to go straight away to string because this is my favorite racket i already have one spare so uh yeah so it's the s shock 99 this is the 4u this is the 4u g5 weight um the maximum tension is from 20 to 28 uh, but actually um, most of the rackets can actually string to 30 plus um, not all uh, but most Japan racket are uh, actually strong enough to actually uh, take it uh, a, high, a high tension strings so yeah I really recommend this for people that like to play control uh, this is a hit heavy balance so it's, it's a balance but it's slightly hit heavy so if a hit heavy like this it's just slightly hit heavy so yeah so really love this racket I really love it and also I'm also using a Yonex grip as I said just now it's a Kento Momota style with a little bit of uh, sports tape in it to make like a knob uh, if I play ice hockey they call this a knob I don't know what you call but uh, I don't know what badminton player call this 
so yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed the video this is actually the review it's nothing special it's literally just the same one but it was just a nice game if you guys can guess it if you guys guessed it right then you are right but um some of you guys uh, request um uh, some of you guys actually replied to the story uh that i i wanted to buy astro 100 cz uh vita and uh, uh racket uh no uh and some world trade eight yeah so what a good guess the astro 100 is pretty close but yeah it's a two astro 99 so yeah i hope you guys like this video make sure you guys give a thumbs up and yeah do watch my video playing with this Astro 99 You can see my playing style I'm not a pro player but at least you can play See you guys in court